Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Brian and Sly. Thank you for staying tuned every single time. We really appreciate it. I'd like to take this chance to actually give thanks to God for the brand new day he's actually good to show us. We don't take it for granted. Next, we'll get in right into the, to our to today's topic. Today's topic, I'd like, we, we will be dealing with a printer and uh, what we'll be actually dealing with is creating a network folder onto the desktop so that when you scan a document you are able to actually send it to your desktop or to your computer onto a particular folder today we'll be dealing up with a printer known as Kyocera M4 4125 IDN Kyocera M4125 IDN So what are the requirements? First of all you need to actually have the IP address or the printer needs to be online So like like me I have the IP address for this particular uh, printer You just type it on in, This is 192.168.1.192 and actually find it on that particular network since you are on the same network next thing what i actually need to do as i've actually opened i'll leave it to that we'll actually see it um, on the next step so what now we need to actually do is create a folder on your desktop just create a new folder name it kiosera since we need actually to know where the scan items will be going so we name it as kiosera Okay. Okay. Next, we'll have to actually click, <coughs> right-click on it, click on properties. What we need to do is go to the next sharing tab. Click on share. Click on share. And then click on this drop-down arrow. Click on everyone. Click add and click share. Okay, this is saying, do you want to turn on my network discovery and file sharing for all public networks? I say yes. This has been successfully done. The folder has been actually successfully shared. Next thing. Next thing what you need to do is go to the advanced sharing. Click on the advanced sharing. Click share this folder. That the since the, the folder or the file, the, actually the folder we specified as Kyocera, it will appear here. Okay. Uh, click on uh, permissions. Click on since click on everyone. Click to have actually full access to that. Click apply. Click OK. And click OK also. Done. And that will actually have it. So what you need next to do is copy this network path. This network path is actually really really important on the on the actually um, on this particular browser over here where we actually had the IP address, wrote it down, and it opened the this uh, user interface so what you need to do is click on address book since you actually open let me just refresh this it refreshes okay next what you need to do is just come directly to the address book click on machine address book next we already we have all these existing users so what you need to do is actually add a new user so we'll come to this area for add, click on add, okay. When you actually get to actually click on the 
add new user or add new contact, you specify on the name. On the name, we'll specify as let's pick a girl's name. Uh, since it's a, my colleague is a girl who actually needs to, to, to connect to the printer, uh, color noise. Then next thing, we get get the host name. Host name will specify on this this particular part here. We will copy this and then click on host. That next the path name. The path that's the, this particular part of the host name. Next this this other area is the path. So you click on this. Click on Coisera. Click on this. Click copy. Then click on path. Click paste. Yes. Next thing we need to actually find the uh, the, the username and password. Sorry about that. Username and password. So user user accounts is Miniso hyphen one. So it's Miniso hyphen one. Actually, it's in caps lock, so we need to verify, specify this. If you write in small letters, it won't work, so it needs to be like this. And then you put on the password. That is, it's, that is, that, that is actually key, key sensitive. Then you click, you click on tests. Never. You see, the connection is okay. So, this actually this connection has been established successfully. You click OK. So, you remember this particular area. This particular area from these two backslashes up to the T. That's what the host uh, that contains the host name, and this particular part only. This Coursera part is the path name. So sour. Okay, we submit this. And everything should be okay. Everything is registered. The next thing you need to do is actually verify if now. Once we, once we actually scan a document, it actually appears on that folder we had created. So we'll minimize this. We find the Coursera document here. Actually, the, uh, we'll find the Coursera document inside this folder. Uh, let us open. So you find it, we'll find it there. So inside this Coursera file, uh, actually folder. So let's go to the printer and actually scan a document. So I'm here at the printer right now. You can see it. So what you need to do is just verify the printer is actually on. Uh, it's actually on. Place the piece of paper on top. Actually facing that direction. So place it on top there. So we come to this particular display area. So what you need to do is actually send the documents onto the folder on the computer. So you click on send. As you can see, click on send, click on address book. We'll scroll all the way using this uh, up on to, until our, our new user click on select the user and then click OK. Click OK. And then over here there's a start button. It turns on to, to, to actually a bright blue. Click on it. Scans and success. So what we need to do now is actually go back to our our desktop and verify that the, the document just scanned appears there. So let's go. So when we open the document right, right here, right now, you can actually see there's a PDF document inside it. So we just open, double click on the document that's inside the folder. Give it time to open. Uh, 
and voila, we have the document uh, on our desktop. Although it's not straight, we, we need to actually ensure it's straight. I'll, I'll send the straight version, actually the straight document, uh, the, the document that's actually supposed to be uh, straight uh, on, uh, on the next file. So I've just scanned an, a new document right here, we double click on it, and yes, definitely you can see we have, a, we have it straight and we have the document that we, we wanted. Uh, if, if you found this, uh, this tutorial or this video educative, please subscribe, like, share and comment. I really appreciate the time you've given me and you actually watching up to the end uh, hopefully we'll actually see you on the next video to be bigger and better so for me I'd say bye